afternoon guys it is saturday we finally got some cooler weather coming in which i, I mean i'm not celebrating i'm just saying it's finally feeling a little bit like winter time and i'm ready for it to be over uh but i just went i hauled a little bit of odds and ends scrap stuff to the scrap yard and i went and picked up some steel that i ordered five inch wide by quarter inch thick there are 20 foot sticks i got two of them uh, one of these I'm figuring is going to be able to make six brackets. So then I'll get two out of the other. These are going to actually be the brackets that I mount my posts in. So I'm going to go ahead and get them all cut to length. Then I'm going to mark them up. And then um, I've got a guy that I'm actually going to have punch the holes out because I'm putting uh, four holes in each upright. So that's eight. And then two in the bottom. So there's 10 holes per bracket I've got eight brackets that's 80 holes so rather than me drilling 80 holes uh, this guy's got an iron worker and he can just punch the hole in it and be done with it so that's what I'm gonna do uh, get, get these cut off I'm gonna mark them all out so all he has to do is go off the, the center punch that I put in there and uh, it'll speed the process up for him make it quicker and easier for him Yet again, my camera screwed up, so at the beginning of a time lapse, right before I started making my first cut, there's nothing special to it, it's just a chop saw. I cut eight pieces. seen that loud until you start trying to talk to the camera I got one piece laid out and uh, I gave myself four and three quarters of an inch here I marked center this holes an inch and a quarter in from this edge this holes an inch and a quarter in from this edge I decided to actually stagger them a little bit I thought that might be a little bit better um, so I actually left three inches here and then I went a foot 12 inches so three inches from the edge and then 15 inches from the edge. Same down there, so they line up across from each other. Then I went an inch and a half here and then 13 and a half inches to this one. So there's a foot between each of these holes. And then I did the same, I mirrored this on this side because what I'm gonna do is basically we're gonna punch these four holes, these four holes, and then these four holes, and then we're gonna bend it here and here and those holes have to line up. I got a stack of seven here left to go, and they're not gonna do their cell. All done. All my marks, I've got center hole, center punch holes, uh, ready to get some holes punched in it. Thank you guys so much for following me along. Uh, I am not a professional. Uh, you guys already know that, I'm sure. The name is Franklin County Forage, and this isn't directly related to forage. It's indirectly related to forage because that's where I'm going to store my equipment and my, my hay. Um, but I think it's a good idea for people to see different options that are out there. Um, you know, I've done quite a bit of research. I've done building things. I've never actually built a building myself. So there might be things that I do that you professionals out there are like, what is he doing? I try to do things correct. Now, you know, like these brackets here, I'm a little on the cheap side, but I still want the good stuff. So rather than not being able to pay for the good stuff and, and sell them for, eh, I just go ahead and make the good stuff and I make it for less, basically what I would pay for the junky stuff. And when I say junky stuff, I'm talking about that stamped crap you get from Lowe's or Menards. This is quarter inch steel. Now it's not like, you know, it ain't AR 400 or something crazy like that. It's just standard A36, nothing high strength, but it's quarter inch. This is way more than what you're gonna buy at any bo big, big box store or anything like that. I'm, I'm sure I do things different than what a professional would do it. You know, someone who you pay to put up but I, I can take the little bit of extra time to do that extra stuff, whereas someone's putting it up, they need to make money, they need to get it done and get on to the next project. Not saying that they cut corners, 
but but they may not go the extra mile that I would go because it's my building. And I'm saving money by doing it myself so I can spend a little bit of that extra doing those extra things like this. Uh, you know, I'm pouring concrete to get it up off the ground. I'm not setting posts in the ground. That would be way quicker if I just dug holes, dropped the post on the ground, and put concrete around the post. That would have been way quicker. I'd already have the post up right now. But I don't want to do that. I'm trying to look ahead, you know, look to the future, build it for longevity, last forever. So this is my project. This is our journey. I'm so glad you guys are following me along. It's going to transform here really quickly. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going in, wind down, and get ready for bed. And uh, be ready for church tomorrow. we got the Christmas program going on. So uh, thank you so much for watching. God bless you. God bless America. Franklin County Forge out.